What subjects are going to be covered in this lecture series? The issues that I'm going to be talking about pertain to a woman, to a woman's sense of herself, to a woman's sense of self-esteem, self like for example, where to get a good haircut. You know, why that woman over there looks fabulous and something she had made in the market when I would get something made in the market and look like an, a, an upholstered couch for God's sake. Okay, so I'm going to be talking primarily about a wife a man can insert male here rather than female, that's not a problem. But I'm going to be talking about the loss of identity that the accompanying partner, there I'm being politically correct, the accompanying partner feels a terrible loss of identity when she or he is uprooted somewhere. All her life props are taken away from her, that's family, that's church, that's job job being the operative word, career, paycheck, all the things that makes her feel like herself. Uh, suddenly those are all gone and by the way did I mention so is her husband. For those of you who are watching this on your own because your husband is already traveling, uh, hasn't left a cell number behind and oh by the way your youngest has a fever of 104, been there done that. Okay, So I'm going to be talking to, about the challenges that affect the spouse first and foremost and then how they impact on the rest of the family. This particular uh, presentation or the way I'm trying to structure this presentation is to include a lot of different subjects as they relate to successful living abroad. It's called, I call it my cherry picking uh, presentation. When I used to travel, I had a presentation on a movable marriage, uh, homeward bound, that's about repatriation, on raising global nomads, and on being a successful wife abroad. Now, many places I'd go, I had what were, I used to call cherry pickers. Can we have a little bit of marriage, a little bit of parenting, a little bit of repatriation? So, this presentation is going to cover a little bit of everything so that and it will be clearly marked uh, when you see these uh, on whatever channel it is that you're going to be watching them on so that if you just want to know about being a spouse and you've got issues with your career and you want some advice emotional advice uh, you'll go there uh, if you're parenting you'll know to go there uh, but we're mixing it all up together because all these challenges are interrelated that's why I've been able to write one book which became five books because they all kind of mesh together you hear that you're going abroad you go you live you return home again and you're never the same again and that's really important and neither are your children so I'm going to be covering the waterfront of the family and apologies again if I'm referring to a wife some of my best friends are men and I should might as well say this at this point I love my husband I'll say this in advance of doing the talk about my marriage book because Everywhere I went, people thought, oh my gosh, maybe she doesn't like her husband. I've been married almost 30 years. I think that speaks volumes. 